mema wakwaba eba afrafra tv trending news for you Hey KSA, go to see TV sa wadi in summer to the FA ya batu ya besi shesu ayya turi before general election na wada in summer to the FA na wasa lebe kwa wani nse mwini 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 se wunya subscribe to the channel na mwini mwini se over subscribe wadi wabe ya mwini se over click ayya the subscribe button na wabe le notification wadi nsa new video di ano wosu wansa ebe kenbi after we are now like a video, give us a thousand. Nothing share my offer for us. Now we need to be our share. Having a more a a a similar. A a K S A. What is a similar to be our work as a year 2024. About to have a bit to. We are going to pass the thing. Now as we do. Now as we do the bar. Now just a few minutes. Now to do it. Now we are K S A. We just say so. We do not perform. So now we are doing the hand over power. I'm a N D C. A year from the champ. Now some of the car. Now I see. Sadly, we are not just focusing on mining, but on the chaos. O pessoal mais neste, mas muito bem na plataforma só em casa se não se acha, assim que ele é para ele precisa tu apagar mas ele via a função dia, é muito bem em casa se não. Nem no nosso dia regi home se é tudo dia o dia porque o bom se é mais é easy se o ano vai ter que mais ir, o mamãe de mamãe dá o fã, o 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 you know what is going to be happening very, very soon? The elections. And since, since I don't know the last time, since I returned from the US and came to Ghana, every election, there will be prayers night and day. We are praying for peace. We are praying for peace. You hear, I haven't heard of women's glow in a long time. <laughs> I won't be surprised if they show up to pray for peace for the election. Hmm? Christian Council, I, this is just, I want to throw this in, you know. Do you know in uh, in the palace, traditional palace, uh, when, the, when Nana is speaking, the Ochami will say, come here, come here, which means everybody must keep quiet. Nana ikasa, Nana ikasa, come, quietness, come here. That's what they say in, that, in, in the palace, you know. It seems to me, since I come for the whole of Ghana, come here. Yeah. <laughs> it will be a come. You know, chiefs are him for your come. A software, a cuckoo dam. Oh, yeah, come. The Ghana Bar Association, oh my name, come. <laughs> the General Association, for the most part, I'm saying for the most part because some are not, but for the most part, will be a come. It is a say, come here. Yeah. And that's what, <laughs> that's what we are going with, you know, come here. But at least, you know, regardless of the come here, there are certain things that we should put out publicly. And I hope that when I put these things out, you are watching the come here will, TV will, on will cease. Whatever I'm, I'm saying today, I, w I would love it that the Ghana, Asus, Ghana Bar Association will come out and say, oh, we endorse what KSM said, Ayampa. It is in the national interest. Mm -hmm. I will be happy if the Christian Council will say, oh, what KSM said, I endorse it. It is in the national interest. Or all those who are my call you know, for one speak up and say, oh, Charlie, this thing that KSM said on the show is in the national interest. Folks, what am I talking about? I'm talking about we're going to have an election and all we are looking for is to have a peaceful election. Oh, yeah, in general, Ghana was the first person, first country South of the Sahara to gain independence. Ghana is the gateway to Africa. Ghana is this, Ghana is this. Anuja. Do you know Anuja? It means we can talk. Okay? Yes, and we do talk. But for once, this election, all the Anuja should come from the fact that we had our election and as expected in all of Africa, it was peaceful. That's what we want to. My, my, my dear Nanadu, Your Excellency, if you're listening to me, I am saying that one of the greatest legacies you can leave is to leave a legacy say, in your time. When we had the election, it was peaceful. And when I'm usual, it was peaceful. And so, please, for once, come and back me and let's all call for peace for the next election. Why am I talking so much? The election is months away. It's months away. But why am I saying these things, you know? It's because the you signals are that are coming TV back and forth. YouTube. If you are, if you have your antennas up, 
you can tell say mm, say na me ko de ya hwe ya and me enye peaceful say ya hwe ya so i'm saying say ye hwe ye so that we can maintain a record of the peaceful elections and maintain that record because say nima ko ya enye peaceful mm you see folks let me say this you know there's something called rigging and rigging simply means that doing whatever it takes illegally to make sure that you can manipulate the election results and not even a rigging law and one thing that we should all be aware of is that rigging does not take place on the day of election departure if you want to rig the election don't wait until the day that people are voting to rig it no rigging takes place long before the election you know when you see certain things that do not go well with what we are looking for in the electoral system it is can be called rigging and yeah only on the day of election even before the election if you're not comfortable with certain things voice it out so that the electoral commission can realize that people are on this page and on that page and all we are all looking for is a peaceful free and fair election why am i talking so much about this i know that we have a record of uh, democracy in ghana in africa and i want us to continue with that democracy but when you hear some of the wranglings going on it makes you a little bit eh, shelly maybe this time we'll miss it but i don't want us to miss it that's all i'm saying you know. is because i want the election to be peaceful TV okay on youtube now listen to this uh, uh, uh i'm going to show you a clip of what one person has said and and in fairness it's only one person but i want you to to to, to say what that can lead to take a look at this clip <laughs> is a very respected active member of the MPP and if he can mount a political platform and make statements like this I think they are reckless you know statements to the effect that we will not hand over power Mipacho, let, let's listen to this as a national cause not a partisan cause we will not hand over power imagine oh, that JJ has said that in this time that whatever happens him JJ or any president he will not hand over power do you know what would that, that, that would have meant or oh, forget about JJ let's say Kufo has said that going into the election Kufo says I'll make sure that so and so does not come to power will make sure that they don't come to power do you know what that would have meant think about it all or maybe when Mahama was in power he too made a statement like that they were going for the election but blah 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 i will not hand over power what would that have meant simply disaster folks disaster so you this, are watching this, 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 this TV thing on YouTube. is something we must take very very seriously let all party members whether you are mpp ndc whatever party you belong to never mount a platform to talk about uh, we won't hand over power because in effect what you are saying is that we will create chaos and so be it let ghana bend if it has to but we won't hand over power it is wrong you know there, there, there's 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 something we see in chi i say we will don't worry <laughs> and i know that folks once you get onto the political platform once the audience or the crowd is there cheering you it is very very easy to 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 be filled with the spirit of it and then you say it free ah yeah yeah god da yeah honey over power da and the crowd will cheer and they will applaud but trust me in singing. so i guess all i'm trying to say today is this as we go closer and closer to the election let's watch the utterances that we bring out 
because that is what is going to decide our fate in the next election. Oh, they be like, oh, Ghana, they were a peaceful country. Ghana is a peaceful country. Ghana is a peaceful country. I know. I'm a peaceful man. You're a peaceful person. And we know that Ghana is a peaceful country. But trust me, everything has its limits. And Ghana being a peaceful country, the only thing that can continue the peace in this country is that everybody across the board is convinced that we have had a very free and a very, very fair election. If not, there will be chaos. So we are, all in, we are all in Africa. We have seen the chaos that has taken place in certain African countries. We have seen how many people have died. We see on TV how many people are streaming refugees trying to get into other countries. These are very, very disturbing pictures. Let you and I not assume that this is something that will never happen to Ghana. We say that a lot to Ghana de Nyamie Shrayen. Ghana de Nyamie Shrayen. Please, let's not push. You are watching the TV on to YouTube. limits where people will start questioning. No, this was not right. I'm saying all of this, folks. I'm saying all of this to suggest that the upcoming election should be very, very, very free and very, very fair. And all of us a nation, as a nation will realize, ah, easy way, Juma. The thing was free, the thing was fair. End of discussion. You know, but certain things, I told you folks in the beginning that rigging does not happen on the day of the on the day of election. If you are waiting that let me make the die elections now rig, you have you have waited too long. Rigging begins way before the election. Okay? And rigging can come from anyone. It can come from the government. Even the position can have certain strongholds that they control so that even in their stronghold, rigging can take place. So when I say rigging, I don't want the people in the government to assume, say, I'm only talking about government. I'm just talking about something that is free and fair. Whether you're a government or whether you're opposition, we want a free and fair system. That's what I'm saying. And, 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 and please, to the electoral commissioner. Some people have accused me in, in private mail to me, say, I care some ukasa budi. It's like case and when you're talking, name names. Why do you talk generally? People tell me, case and be a man to name names. You know, let me tell you why I don't name any names. I like to name the office. When I talk, I talk to the office of the chairman of the electoral commission. I don't talk to the electoral commissioner. So that what I'm saying now, if Jameisa is not there, the next person comes, it won't be applicable. No, it will still be applicable. Whoever is on the seat of the Electoral Commission, nah, whoever is the seat, as the Electoral Commissioner, is the one I'm talking to, the office. So to the office of the Electoral Commission, please, everything is in your hands. Everything depends on you. Trust me, you are holding now the, the, the future of Ghana is in your hands. And yes, more, and yes, more, as I mentioned, there are no. The whole future of Ghana is in your hands. I'm talking about the chairman of the Electoral Commission, not to any one individual. But that, that seat that, he, that, that is responsible for this duty. So please, I'm saying, no, I mean, there are too many little, little things of late. There could be nothing at all. There could just be things not to worry about, or there could be major things to be worried about majorly. I don't know. But as Electoral Commission, please, whatever it is, no matter how petty it sounds, clear it. Because you don't want to leave the people thinking that there is some irregularities going on. For example, say some BVD machines are missing. Wow. Missing from the office of the Electoral Commission? The Electoral Commission didn't have any CCTVs cameras to, 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 to monitor all these BVD machines? And they are actually missing? I don't know, but folks, this is what I'm talking about. Is it a fact that these machines are missing? If it is, then people have the right to question, hey, if these are missing, then is, is that not something irregular? 
how does that eventually affect the outcome of the election? Because when we talk about rigging, that's what we mean. No? We talk about little things that happen either through voter suppression, either through uh, uh, changing of numbers, either through all kinds of things that you can do that will favor one party and not the other. Okay? This is what we call rigging. Let me say, rigging doesn't take place on the day of the election. Rigging takes place way before the election. So if way before the election, people are saying that the two BVD machines are missing. Why? What do they contain? And folks, this is the question. How will that affect or not affect the outcome of the election? And when you, these two machines or whatever machines that are missing, how will they affect or not affect the outcome of the election? So this is what we want to hear. So the Electoral Commission comes out and says, oh, these machines are missing. Christ says, it will have any effect. Or the danger is that this and this and this is what will affect. So because of that, this is what we are doing in place. Way BB Amaka is it rocket science? All I'm saying is that we as a people getting to the election require, require some excellent communication from the office of the EC. Explain things. Be on the same page with us and explain. Say the machines that are missing, this is and this is what we are doing to recover them, or this and this is what can do to affect the election. But let's not dismiss it. We can't be dismissive. Unless there's so nothing that we can dismiss it, then tell us because of this and these reasons we cry to have any effect, we can dismiss it. Then we know. So folks, all I'm talking about is that we're getting towards the election. And I know what is going to happen very, very soon. I told you, uh, is it called Ghana Glow or a Glow for Jesus, whatever, and they'll be praying for peaceful election. The churches, they'll be praying for peaceful election. The Christian Council, the Muslim Council, the Peace Council, the whatever council, all of us will pray, oh God, give us a peaceful election. Oh Lord, we want a peaceful election. Fine! Go ahead and pray. But I'm saying it is not enough. Have we done what it takes to get a peaceful election? What is the result of this BVD thing that supposedly is missing? How is that being fixed? What is the guarantee that nobody is going to be in the position to rig this election? Either nationally or on the district level or something. You know, because folks, check this out. The interview, the, the, the clip I just showed of a... Uh, my dear friend Brian Champon was talking about how they would never hand over to the NDC. That's a recipe for disaster. I beg you, Mr. Brian Champon, if you want the MPP to win, great. If you think that the MPP will trash the NDC, great. I have no problems with it. Let that happen by people voting freely and fairly. But trust me, once you get on the platform and make a statement that we will make sure that we don't hand over power to anybody, you have created the biggest miscommunication ever in the history of elections. No way to for when you and some of your case, what we see to me, sir, and the two guys were broke and some people are swimming in the air from the air, per se, and the 2024 election, and the call. Now, you and Cindy are your brand at Tampa, and no one would be Yo, it's you for me. So we now subscribe we are Mr. Share over subscribe and like it na watch a video. Was over to me actually wagging a fire and so we get our home and will comment box in Mobati Minkabium in my next video. Alright. You will hear from me in my next video. Please don't forget to subscribe. Click on the bell to turn on the notification. Thanks for watching. Like and share the video. I would love to read your comment.